The Legal Assistance Center recently stressed that despite the many gender-based violence cases reported, there are very little or no protection from the police. The statement was released shortly after a woman from Mariabot, Letitia Duplessis, who has knocked on the door of the police for protection on several occasions, was sent away without any assistance. Such was not brought to the attention of the police probably because uh, it wasn't communicated to our office. But basically, the procedures is that when somebody visits our local police stations and, is ag and he or she is aggrieved by the actions or conduct of any police officer, uh, she should seek uh, to see the station commander. That's the first thing of that station. And if probably she is not happy, she doesn't draw joy from the answer that she gets from uh, the local station commander then she can, uh, she can take up her matter with uh, the regional commander. Just the last weekend, two women were shot by their lovers. A 47-year-old detective inspector allegedly shot his 22-year-old girlfriend on Tuesday morning in the hip and thigh with a service pistol in Khababas. In a similar incident, a 29-year-old man shot and killed his girlfriend in the Kavanga East region. The suspect allegedly shot the deceased with a shotgun. She died on the spot. The police officers that are assigned uh, to the gender-based violence investigation division and to the units across the whole, whole country, uh, they have received specialized training to deal with these cases and also to deal with victims of gender-based violence, yeah, including also to deal with suspects. And uh, they have received specialized training in that, in that aspect. They are also, their efforts are complemented by social workers that are assigned to this office by uh, the Ministry of Gender, Equality and Child Welfare. The highest number of gender-based violence was reported in 2014 with 4,714 cases.